Hey everyone, I'm your average guide Sahil Gogna. Welcome back to another video. So in my previous video, I shared some details about different colleges and universities that you can consider if you are choosing Canada as an IT aspirant. And in today's video, we are going to discuss about Nova Scotia Community College, which is a very famous college in Halifax, and it's very popular among the international students. So without any delay, let's get started. Hi Subhash, first of all, thanks a lot for coming today. It's my pleasure to be here. And Subhash, before I ask you any questions about your program at NSCC, can you please introduce yourself to the audience? Yes, so I'm coming here to Canada after completing my high school in Canada, India. So I graduated from Chennai in a high school and then I chose to study abroad. And it was obvious it's going to be Canada because... So I happened to find the immigration system in Canada to be better than any other country. So I chose Canada and also I wanted to pursue my higher secondaries in bachelor's compared to a diploma degree. But then I actually did transfer to diploma. And why did you choose this uh, college and SCC? So I actually came down to four, four years university program as I said. So which was also I was interested in mm -hmm. uh, before coming down to Canada. But then after completing a semester there and further more courses in the summer, I realized I had to immigrate here sooner so that I can reduce my fees in the longer run. And also it was more technical and for me to learn in the diploma degree when compared to a university. Okay. And when you did your one semester in the university and then you selected this college, so were the credits transferred or like that one semester, was it considered to get admission or like you have to start over again? Yes, if I had taken like more courses in the university, however, I could have done that. But when I just did like a semester and two or three courses in the summer, I wasn't able to do much or anything about the transfers. But I did go with the diploma even then because it found to be uh, more easier for me to immigrate with the two years when thinking about compared or compared to the four years of university. Okay. And if we talk specifically about this college, uh, NSCC, so I know like the university and college, they have different admission requirements. So what were the admission requirements for this program? Yes, I think with the IELTS, we, I was pretty good with an IELTS score of 6.5 and a uh, high school uh, grade of around 70%, which I had, that was pretty good for me to get an admission and secure in this college. But the one thing though, which is concerning is uh, these programs are highly, highly competitive to get into. So they might get you on wait list uh, be it the Halifax campus, mm -hmm. but still they have many campuses around in Nova Scotia where you can still study the same program. So if we talk about the fee structure, so how much you are paying per year? I think it's two year program, right? Yes. So how much are you paying for two years? So an estimate uh, for the first year, including the health plan and all the rest fees, mm -hmm. it comes down uh, below 15,000 Canadians for okay. the first year and which is also the same for the second year. In total, it's around 30,000 Canadians. Okay. And if we talk about your program, like how is it structured? So what are the things that you have studied till now? Like how many semesters have you completed till now? And what are the all subjects that you have been studying? So the whole program is structured into four semesters. However, we have the uh, spring terms for the projects where you can do co-ops and which you can do for two, two years. And with, through, throughout the four semesters, we are concentrating more into varied number of programming languages. Uh, be starting it from Visual Basic and we're advancing all the way to Python, C Sharp, C++, data structures and all the major programming languages and at least almost the basic frameworks like including Laravel, Visual Basic and the React Natives and anything that we can think of uh, to get us into the industry. Okay. So you have mentioned a lot of frameworks, a lot of languages. So I want to ask like how hard is it for you to complete all the assignments or like are you finding this program tough or like is it easy yes uh, i find it uh, real I, I find it a little co competitive because of the due times which we have for the assignments mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, added to the stress of the passing rate to be 60 percent to get pass to get a pass mark for scores and it it is also difficult because if you are if you happen to fail a course you just cannot take the course again in the shortest term, you, you have to wait all the time till the next year and it's stopping you from getting finishing the course sooner. I think the assignments are uh, set due uh, for two weeks to the minimum or like closest and you, you're going to learn the uh, skills every often and you're going to do the work as on then 
and it's not i think it's not like india where we focus most on the last semester or the last exams unlike that we are doing the whole coursework as on when these things are taught we are just graded on top of that okay and is it possible to do part time job along with this uh, this program so what's your scenario were you able to do part time yes of course we are uh, able to do part time for 20 hours during the school time and 40 hours in the official school break which is in the summer i started doing part time during my first years but i happened to find it to be uh, difficult to catch up with my course work because it's it's getting harder in the last semesters and i still want to do more projects on the side mm -hmm. i think uh, skipping the part time work for the last semester really helps and focus yourself in the final semester okay and if we talk about other students who are in the program so are all students coming after high school like you or there are also some people who are experienced with the industry or maybe they had some bachelor's degree and then they are coming to this program yes of course that's an interesting thing uh, i have quite a few friends in my class who are uh, at least less than my age i'm 22 now they're like straight out of high school and there are also many students with who are studying with me who are trying to change their career after 35 to 40 years okay so it's like variety of experience levels you'll find exactly i would say all of them are just trying to figure out a new career path like uh, we all are in the same path to learning the stuff new okay and and so much are there any other it programs that this college is offering because I, i'm pretty sure like you might have considered other pro programs also if they are available yes of course we have varied number of programs inside the campus uh, be it start from it generalist which is more like a uh, system you will learn more of system administration and going all the way till uh, the programming uh, which i'm doing now and we also have data analytics and the new program cyber security which is more interesting and before we end our conversation any final advice to the viewers maybe it, it's about the profile building choosing a program here in canada or anything in general that you would like to share with the audience i think when you come down to canada it's either two pathways that you can choose from be it immigrant uh, focused or where you can just want to do research based or more education based I would say if you want to go with the later route, like the education route, you can just uh, research and search programs which are more intensive or like more research based theoretical in universities. I think the other one is the diploma degrees which are more industry based and skill based where you will actually learn what you want for the industry mm -hmm. and it's also easier for you to get employed in the industry. Okay, that's cool. So I guess that's it for today's talk. Thanks a lot for sharing your valuable experience with the viewers. Thank you, Sai. So guys, this was the today's video. I hope you have really liked the video. Please make sure to comment down the name of the college or university that you would like me to explore next. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe.